This is the Everglades palm. It grows in hardiness levels of 10 through 11. It has slender trunks with tight clumps and multiple suckers clustered at the base, as you can see here. You can remove these suckers to have a cleaner look. Um, the fronds grow two to three feet wide and they grow black berries a quarter of an inch big. Once the berries are ripe, they turn black in color and grow up to a quarter of an inch. Um, mostly in the fall, the stalks they grow on will be bright orange. Um, the Everglades palm will grow to be 25 feet high. The fronds create an alternate leaf arrangement. The Everglades palm has no pests or diseases really since it is native to South Florida. However, it is susceptible to chlorosis form and it does show signs of deficiencies of manganese and potassium. This leaf shows evidence of deficiencies of certain nutrients that this palm needs in order to achieve its green foliage. The sable palm is Florida state tree. It's capable of growing 90 feet high, but it usually grows 40 to 50 feet high, for example, in this setting. The trunk of the sable palm is rough and fibrous and it can either be curved or it can grow straight up. The sable palm grows in hardiness zones of 8B through 11. It grows very slowly and has a spiral leaf arrangement. Gonoderma butt rot is a serious disease of these palms. It enters through injuries at the base of the trunk.